Hey guys, so I just got these words at 4.57 and um, I'm gonna try and get them out real quick before I have to make dinner. So here, the, here it goes, it's about the anointed and the faithful. Topics. So anointed, hear the voice of the Lord. I am the Lord God. I will have mercy upon whom I have mercy. The time is to come. Many of my anointed have had dreams or words about coming up in the past few days. Your time is nearing. Take note of what you see and hear from me. There will be important details and images. Each will be given a certain image. This image will be repeated just before your translation. The second time you see it, you will be with me 24 hours later. You will have detailed instructions within that day of what to do before leaving. An angel will appear to you as does a man and he will protect and provide. You will have differing images. Some will see the anointed person that goes before them. Others will be given other things to see. I will take each of you in order and you will all come to me at the perfect time. Leadership will come first to prepare. They will be sanctified in a process in heaven and go before God's throne so that they are well suited to lead. After they have been anointed and prepared, then I will have my mighty angels come for each of you separately. All of heaven awaits your arrival. This event is unlike any before. We have strategized ways to work around the demons and darkness for your safe journey. Be alert. Your time nears. Keep these words private until told to share with others that are not anointed. Pray to me and make of your request for clarity. Your time here is short. Maximize your time with your loved ones and with me. Use wisdom with those that are not anointed. They will not believe you or understand what is to come. Planting seeds is the only effective tool for this unique time. Pray fervently for the faithful and the half-borns, for they will need much strength for what is to come. Rejoice, your time nears. Here's the second one. Uh, faithful, do not fret when the anointed go. Rejoice. Trust me, I have you in a very needed place for my entire plan to rescue as many as possible. Some of you will feel disappointed for you had hopes of being accounted as the anointed. Know that you were equally as loved, but just as the body of Christ, each has a different function, but all are important to the whole. You are staying on earth for a purpose. You have the needed skills to help the half-borns in ways others cannot. Rejoice that you are my steadfast faithful ones, that I can depend on you for this important mission of being used as a vessel for me to show my miracles to the world. Do not envy another's responsibilities, only rejoice in your own. Continue to fervently read my word and inload my words into your soul for my use. When you intake my words, the Holy Spirit can access them and make them useful in your life and retrieve them for use in helping others as well as shaping your lives through them. It is essential that you have these words firmly inloaded to your soul. My loves, I am so proud of you for your faith in me. Continue on. Do not be distracted by the soon and upcoming human uprising. It will be filled with much deception, much like a movie is written and parts are played. The uprising will be crafted by the evil one placed in the hearts of the powerful to pay people to take part in, in hopes to bring many others into the rebellion. Recall my words. This is a deception. It will look very convincing. Most around you will be in full support of what is to come. Recall my words. Whoever is involved, data will be collected about them and they will be sought after for jail. Do not talk of it or text of it. Keep your thoughts to yourself. If you must express yourself about it, speak silently with me. Tune out the world. Stop looking. Do not take the bait they offer. Only focus on me. Recall that I have you. No matter how things look, simply pray and I will protect you. Trust in your prayers. Truly believe what you pray. Keep your focus on me. How, you say? Read my word. Listen to music that brings you to worship and praise me and my son. Keep your mind on thoughts above. Hang on. The uprising will be intense but brief. 
Recall, after the uprising begins and after there have been three days of silence from Julie, the anointed will all be gone off the earth. Any left, seek me and make yourself a willing vessel for my miracles during the war. The war will be after the calm that happens post uprising. At this point, if you find yourself here, consume my word as quickly as you can and pray with fervent sincerity to me. Recall that I will bring my mighty angels that you will not be able to see to protect and provide. Recall that I will bring back the anointed to help you bring in the halfborns. Recall that I will be sure you are safe and provided for. Recall that no matter what lies in front of you, if you are sanctified and you cry out to me that I will provide. If you are not sanctified, repent and take the needed steps toward becoming sanctified, righteous, and holy. Recall that you need to fight with prayer against the unseen enemy, the spiritual fight. As violence and selfishness rises with the uprising, the evil and its agents will also rise. If you are obeying my voice and not involved in the uprising, you will be a target to the enemy. Cry out to me for protection. Recall that reading my word, prayer, and worship are effective defense against the enemy. Pray I bring you others to pray with. There is power in numbers. Choices have to be made to follow man or to follow me. Do what is right in my eyes. Choose me. I will sustain you. I see all from on high. The time approaches. The time is coming. The nearing event should give you hope for your soon rapture. Stay focused on your hope in me. Cry out and I will comfort you. Pray with fervent efforts and I will bring help. Cast all your cares upon me. I am here for you. God. I'm sure that encourages you. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.